I have a testimony of this church and I know that if we live by its standards that people will be able to notice. I noticed that when I came back from EFY that I had been spending more time reading my scriptures and studying them and I had the Spirit with me more often and I know that I had more missionary ex experiences. Many of my friends started asking me more questions and they could tell that there was something different about me that I had the Spirit with me. And so it was just amazing to see how people were able to tell. Uh, I've been a member all my life, and uh, the time I think I first got converted um, to learning the gospel, to gaining my own testimony was when I was 16. I got the opportunity to go on trade-offs with missionaries, and we got to teach a family, a uh, non-member family. And I had the chance to testify of my uh, belief in Joseph Smith and in the Book of Mormon and what it meant in my life and in doing so I had the spirit witness to me of its truthfulness and every time I pick up the Book of Mormon from now on I, I get that, that blessing of, of having the spirit witness that to me that it's true. I'd like to bear my testimony that I know that this is the true church and that Thomas S. Monson is a prophet today that leads and guides the church. And I know that the Lord doesn't always expect us to be perfect but he does expect us to be where we're supposed to be and doing what we're supposed to be doing. And I know that if we are following the commandments and living righteously, then we'll be able to feel the Spirit and the ones around us will be able to feel it and have it testify to us the truthfulness of, the, of this church. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. I would like to bear my testimony on prayer and fasting. Last year, my mom had to get open heart surgery and that was a big trial in my life and in my family's life. Through prayer and fasting, we were able to feel comforted by the Holy Spirit, and through priesthood blessings, my mom was able to recover fully, and she's doing great today. And I'm so thankful for that. I'm also thankful for temples where we can be married for a time in all eternity. And I'm so thankful for this church, and that I'm so thankful for Joseph Smith and how he restored the gospel today. And I'd like to say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. One thing that I really treasure is the fact that I know that God knows who I am and He knows me and the challenges that I go through all my life. Um, I've had a lot of stuff happen to me and one thing that I've really relied on um, that has helped me is my inner strength and knowing that God knows me and who I am. And I think that's really important um, to know, especially in our world today, as you see all the kids in this world. Um, I, it's hard sometimes going to school and being the one that has to stand strong. and. Um, I, you can really tell the difference. Um, a lot of people tell me the difference. You know, you seem so much stronger than all my friends. It's so amazing how you can, you know, keep your virtue, Ashley. Or it's so amazing that you know you you don't say bad words and, and things like that. It's just, you know, it's who I am. And I, I know it's who I know God wants me to be. When I was ordained a priest, I knew that I'm supposed to bless the sacrament whenever I can. Around that same time, my dad started teaching me how to bless the bread and water. He wanted me to do it slowly and patiently. When I questioned him about this, he said, the only reason to, the way to do this is to bless the sacrament is you have to be very calm and patient and you have to imagine that the Lord is there. Make it sound like you're talking to Him. And I want, that, I want those who are about to become priests to know that as well. I like to bear my testimony. I know this church is true. I'm thankful for my friends and my family and grateful for the gospel in my life. It means a lot to me. I know that the Book of Mormon is true and I know that Joseph Smith went through a lot to translate it and thankful for his sacrifice and 
thankful for missionary work and I'm looking forward to one day going on a mission myself and spreading the gospel to others and thankful for temples and love the feeling I get when I go into the temple and it's just a good feeling and I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hi brothers and sisters, my name is April Stevenson, I'm from the St. John's Ward and I'd like to start off by telling you a story. Uh, recently uh, my brother went into this program to help him get better. He's been struggling for years and it kind of seemed weird to me that no matter how hard my parents tried or no matter what we did, he just seemed to struggle more and more each day and it was really difficult to watch him. And it was really difficult on me when my parents told me that uh, he went, he was gone. Uh, it's been a month since I've seen him, but through his letters, he's been getting better. And I really didn't understand, or I really couldn't understand how anyone could understand what I was feeling until scripture time. I came across this one scripture in uh, Mosiah 3, 7, and I'd like to read it to you because I can't summarize it and it's the word of the Lord, and so why shorten such great words? But it says, And lo, he shall suffer temptation and pains of body, hunger, thirst, and fatigue, even more than man can suffer, except it be unto death. For behold, blood cometh from every pore, so great shall be his anguish for the wickedness and abominations of his people. And in that scripture, it was talking about Christ suffering for us and his atonement, and it made me realize that even though uh, no one here may know exactly what I was feeling or how to uh, empathize with me, I realized that my Savior can always empathize with me. Um, I like to bear my testimony. Um, I really know this church is true. It has helped me so much in my life during school and everything. Um, it's a really great blessing, especially when you go to the temple. It's a wonderful feeling. It's, you feel so much peace inside you. You just can't help it. Um, see me and they, they're like, you're so happy all the time. And they say, ask why. I'm like, I don't know. I just, I'm a happy girl. Everything is okay with me. You know, I do have some bad times. Um, and stuff, but whenever I have a bad time, I just kneel down and pray, and I know that Heavenly Father will always be there for me.